Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. Rocket Lab recently updated us on the numbers for their Archimedes engine on the Neutron rocket and I have decided to update those numbers in my Neutron mod and that's part of the Real Rockets pack and I have not updated the model of anything because I'll wait until they give us the actual version to do that but and anyway this looks fairly good though the second stage could look better. Uh, I didn't really do much with the second stage, but yeah, we have a fair model for now. And the thing is, I'm mostly interested in the numbers anyway, and in terms of the numbers, the Archimedes engine is more efficient than I was expecting, but with less thrust. Basically, we were looking at 1,000 kilonewtons initially, and now they're giving us 900 kilonewtons. A little bit less throttling, uh, only down to 50%. But the ISP for the sea level engines is 329, which is a little bit more than I was expecting. And the vacuum ISP on the vacuum engine is 367, which is a lot more than we were expecting. So the vacuum engine is now sort of in the territory of the Prometheus vacuum engine being developed by ESA. And so the Europeans will have that for the next generation Ariane rocket. And yeah, basically, uh, these are very close, very similar rockets uh, in some ways. But yeah, in order to compensate for the lower thrust, uh, Neutron has uh, increased the engine count from 7 to 9 at the bottom here. So that will give it the right amount of thrust as a result. And sometimes this doesn't go on the right node. You can see there's two nodes that are really close to each other. But if it goes on the wrong one, we have bad staging here. Uh, but yeah, I have not changed the mass of the rocket at all. Let me just open it up again. Okay, here we've got clean and on the right nodes. Uh, so be careful with that if you're using the mod. It's a little bit hard to get everything right. but And that's because of the way the second stage decouples uh, inside the fairing there. I've got the fairing much larger than they have it. They, I think they've reduced the number of pieces instead of four to make it simpler. But anyway, they say that they've got 13 tons to low Earth orbit, but we've got way more delta V than we need for that. So maybe uh, 400, uh, 480 tons is where we need to be, and I need to increase the dry mass of the stages. Uh, again, I haven't touched the masses of the stages yet. Uh, right now we're at 18.5 tons for 356 tons total, so it's about a 5% uh, fraction for the dry mass just of the tank. Mind you, it's got the landing legs and the fairings as well. But taking a procedural tank and making it a composite tank and making it the same size, the procedural tank would be about 12 tons. Uh, it depends on how you look at it. So I've already in uh, added some buffer for that but we could add more to bring it up. Uh, we certainly have the delta V for it. The 13 tons to lower orbit is in expendable mode. And we will test that out outside. And we'll do a launch and check it out. The second stage is as you see it here. And uh, but we don't really know the stage times, but these would be the most reasonable sort of thing. And it'll work out. So without further ado, let's launch it and see what happens. I didn't add SAS to the control core, I'll need to do that, then probably add an antenna or something. Anyway, throttle up, and we'll just use MechJab for now. I have no idea where I'm launching from. Ignition, and I don't have launch clamps either. Just using the legs to verify that the legs are working. Ah, we're actually launching from New Zealand, I guess that's appropriate. I mean, uh, I think they'll be launching it from Cape Canaveral, but... Or Wallops, maybe. Again, we're in expendable mode here, because that's the most reliable thing to test. We'll work on all the other business once we get closer to when they actually launch the thing. Okay, well, now we have to open the fairing. Probably turn that RCS on, separate, activate that RCS, move it on out. Okay. And 
the ignition. All right, and we are on our way. Probably should pitch up more. We took so much time with the separation. That's one bit of inefficiency in this. So last time I tested out the neutron rocket, I asked whether people thought that I should make it heavier to sort of limit it to the 13 tons, and it didn't seem like people were that interested in that, figuring that Rocket Lab had sort of built in some margin to their estimates. But uh, now we've got an interesting thing where they've increased the efficiency of the engines, and now the the excess delta V when lifting 13 tons to lower orbit is really getting to be a bit much. So I will uh, ask once again if people think that we should sort of compensate for that once we see how much delta V we have left because they've reduced the size of the engine. I haven't changed any masses since the last time we I released the mod as part of the real rockets pack. So yeah, maybe we feel like there's too much, but we'll see how much we end up with. They've technically made the engines smaller in thrust, so I don't think reducing the engine mass makes any sense. I basically got the engines a little bit less than a thrust weight ratio of 100 intrinsically to the engine, which is not unusual, and much, much less than uh, the Ra Raptor engine or anything like that. So those should be fine. It's just a matter of the dry mass of the tanks, especially the peculiar first stage with its fairings and its legs as such. The throttling is also adjusted to 50%, as they said, so this bottom end of the throttle is actually 50%. I have no idea why the stock readout doesn't read any delta V for this. That's peculiar. Okay, well... Alright, that is an orbit, and we have 1,237 meters per second left. So it does seem a little bit egregious with the very efficient engines now. Or at least more efficient engines than they had before. So, yeah, maybe we should do something about that and increase the dry mass of the stuff. Maybe, especially the second stage, if we add more dry mass on here, that would probably dampen things quite a lot. So yeah, I will think about that. But for now, I'll update the numbers that we have. We certainly have the numbers for the Archimedes engine. And so there's basically a mod update announcement for the Real Rockets mod. And I'll have the link in the video description for that. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.